What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. I want to talk to you today about Gridgate. Yes, I made that up, but a number of people reached out to me over on Facebook asking if I wouldn't mind checking out my Elgu Saturn and if it has the grid pattern issue that some folks have reported on with the Elgu Mars Pro. I had zero idea what they were asking about or talking about, and so I made a quick little video just just to get people from stopping messaging me <laughs> about it. And I posted it on the Saturn Facebook group and it kind of blew up. And yeah, it got me going down this path of wanting to check in on this across a number of different printers and if it really is an issue. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, don't worry, I can explain it here in just a second. So I happen to be doing a number of prints on the Wham Bam Flex plates on the Elgu Saturn when this was all going on just the other day. And I decided to take a look at some of the prints there after I made that post. And yeah, I could see on some of my prints, more specifically the Spawn Skull. Yes, I designed this on an iPad. You can find out more information down below. But uh, if I put this in the correct light, it'll be kind of hard for me to see here on my camera, but uh, I'll try to get a better angle of this. But there is a gr definitive grid pattern that you can see. It's kind of like a reflective grid pattern. And that comes from the screen array on the Elgu Saturn. And this isn't really just a Saturn specific issue. This happens across a, f a few other machines that I'm seeing it on. But how you can actually test this to see if it's an issue is really simple. All you do is take your build plate out, take the vat out, put a piece of paper down over the screen and run either a test, uh, a full screen test print or use the on screen screen test function on your printer and see if you can see those grid patterns in the actual paper. And for some of my machines, I wasn't seeing it, but for some of them like the Saturn, it definitely is a thing. And some folks commented and said, hey, you should run the same test on this, but at a 15 degree angle and a 45 degree angle and see if it has any better results. So I went off and did that and I still think it looks pretty good, but I can definitely still see that grid pattern on both of these. I think maybe the 45 degree angle print helped slightly, but I can still see it on there. The good news, the really good news about all of this is that I also went off and tested putting down a little bit of spray paint over on the uh, over on my print here and I don't see those lines whatsoever anymore. So assuming that you're gonna be painting any of your prints, you're good to go. If you're planning on just doing raw prints, it might be something that you wanna consider. Again, I never even noticed it until someone called it out and now I can't unsee it. All right, so here's a quick update and some awesome news that I just heard directly from Elgu that they already have a solution in place to actually fix this on the Elgu Mars Pro. So if you already own a Pro and you're seeing this issue, contact them with your, your details. They actually posted on the Facebook group with lots of details on what you can do and they'll actually send you some replacement components to actually resolve this issue. Awesome, awesome to hear. And they're also digging into this toward the Elgu Saturn. So they know how to fix that as well. And we'll be addressing that for all the new production orders, it sounds like, before they officially roll out. Uh, how that will work for anybody that might have already received it, I'm not entirely clear. But so far, Elgu's been amazing, absolutely amazing with all of their support and customer service. So thank you Elgu for hanging in there and addressing this really, really quickly. So it had me thinking, do I have the same issue on other resin 3D printers that I have. So I went in and tried this out on my Frozen Transform, which is a much larger resin 3D printer. I most recently just upgraded that to a mono screen as well. So it prints faster. It's gonna have a much longer lifespan than the standard display. And yeah, I ran the same test, the Spawn Skulls at, uh, this was at, actually this one was flat and this one was 45 degrees. And I'm not really seeing any of those grid marks on here, which is great. I thought I was in the clear. So I also ran the paper test on the screen and I definitely could see the grid pattern through the paper. And sure enough, I went and looked at another much larger print that I ran on that machine. This is a hex 3D file. This is the Silver Surfer. This is like a wave that he's gonna be surfing out of. And I was noticing as I was cleaning this particular print, on the top, I'm seeing a grid 
pattern here. So it's definitely something that's showing up on not just the Saturn, it's showing up on some of my other machines as well. I did test this on the Piopoli Phenom. I didn't see it whatsoever, the grid pattern on there. I also looked at some of the other prints that I've done on the Phenom and I didn't see that whatsoever. I also tested this on the Sonic Mini, which is a really, you know, it's like 200 bucks, 200 to 250 bucks, much smaller resin 3D printer uh, from Frozen. It has that mono screen again, and it does have that grid pattern on it as well. The good news is, again, I, I'm not really seeing any issues visual or uh, touch issues. I can't feel the grid lines on any of the prints. It's still really smooth. If I paint over it, I'm not seeing it whatsoever. I also did some really large angled prints previously on the El Goo Saturn, and I'm not seeing those grid marks on either this big cap bust or the uh, King Thor statue here. I'm not seeing that whatsoever. And I also don't see that on something extremely detailed as a miniature here. Also, speaking of that hex 3D file I was just telling you about before, here is the actual Silver Surfer. He's more gray here at the moment. Again, not seeing those grid marks whatsoever on this. At least I can't see it visually with my eyes. The board, on the other hand, since it's got a nice flat surface here, I am seeing that. So it's something that you're gonna, again, wanna be aware of if you're looking into resin 3D printing and you're planning on just doing raw prints and not painting them, you might wanna check that out. Or maybe if you already have a resin 3D printer, you can go and very easily run this test. Again, by just removing the build plate, removing the vat, putting a piece of paper on the machine and running a screen test and seeing if you see those grid patterns. So some people think it has to do with that actual, the LED array being too close to the screen. Uh, some folks on the Elgu Mars Facebook group have posted that they've modded their Mars by putting in spacers in there to help distance it a little bit, which might slightly blur your prints, but probably not even noticeable. I'm personally not gonna be modifying any of my machines at this point in time. It's not that big of an, an issue for me to uh, worth digging into. Further, I am getting great results on this regardless of that. Um, and most importantly, Elgu has already come out and stated uh, after reading that whole thread there that they're gonna be investigating this with their dev team to see what they can potentially find or if there's a solution that they can put in place for this. I just wanted to make sure aware of you guys, this is just a long rambling video at this point of me looking at you guys, talking about this grid gate issue that I'm making up here. But yeah, again, just it's more of a PSA type thing here. So if you're interested in resin 3D printers, just keep that in mind. Uh, it's something new to me that I've honestly, over the past year and a half, have never really encountered. I probably have, and I've just never noticed it. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you have other machines that you have seen this on and want to call that out for others. It might be a good place for people to see that as well. Hey, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.